not such numbers. It's it's really as the Gemara says, like Kaim in the Shadaiti the Rabbi Ad Arban Shnin. It takes time to really appreciate what we were taught here in this yeshiva and this community. And I'm going back a long time. Uh, this is a I want to say this all the time. So it's uh, I was 45 years ago in 770. So it's a good thing that you don't have me here when I'm 50 years away because then it'll be, I'll give, start giving you eights, my commission for eights. But uh, when I'm born with Vina, I'm, there's a whole thing of Russian Tysis. When I'm born with Vina means the chronological age, when, how old you are on your passport, or it means the years that you were, um, since you learned from that Rebbe. So I want to remem remember people that I grew up with and had a tremendous lifelong uh, impression on me. And I'm not a Ben Yochid, I'm not the only one, but I'll soon tell you why I am special in this situation. I mean, I remember uh, from Park Avenue, I remember of Chaikin, I remember of Isaac Shvei, I remember of Hendel, I, I learned by Rabbi Yudha I I bring by parents a lot, by Shlom Shemanovich. I don't know if many of these people, these are just like uh, far lost memories, if they remember what, what, if they were there when these people were there. I remember, remember Kramer, I remember of Hessel and Leibniz Zaitlin, the brothers. It was an amazing thing to bring every Shabbos and there were hot and heavy Fabrengans. And I remember it was very cold winter outside and was hot and warm inside. I remember my uh, Malamed in the eighth grade, Rabbi Yankel Silberman, and all these people, you know, when you're young, you don't fully appreciate who they were and what they lived with. And it was an unbelievable um, period, an era the, of those tziurim, there were tziurim, there were uh, Yerushalayim Shalmailah, people who were here, and if you think about it, uh, they were here just like five years after the war, and uh, ten years after the war, and everybody should have been Sebrochen and Sahat, and everybody was really into Tyre and Avoid and Siddis in a very, very real way, and I say this, Girsa de Yankese, um, there were, of course, uh, we didn't just learn here in Montreal, other places as well, but the Girsa de Yankis, that is what stays. There's also a Gemara in Chulin, Rab Hanina says, uh, Chamin, uh, the Gemara says about Rab Hanina, the Gemara speaks about the age, how when, an age, when you have to retire, and the Gemara speaks about a Koyan and a Levi if they have a retirement age. And, uh, you know, a koyin can't serve when he's in Yod of Reisesin, when his fingers shake. And the Gemara says that Reb Hanina stood on one foot when he was 80, and he put on his shoes and took off his shoes. And Reb Hanina said, Chamin v'shemen shesachti imi minarusi b'yalusi heim she'omduli b'esik nusi. And I'll tell you, that there are many years after I left here, you don't really appreciate, understand what effect this have, has on you. And then when you get older, and uh, I'm not talking just about putting on the shoes today, you don't even have to tie your shoes, it's uh, slip-ins, there's other kinds of ways of uh, dealing with that. You don't really have to stand on one foot. But in life, especially on shlichus, very often uh, things are very, very shaky. And you're not with both feet on the ground, and you have to have one foot here and one foot there. And I have to say, I want to simply um, pay back a debt, or at least mention that that which we grew up with in Montreal, there's not, I don't think there's another place, maybe there's other, I mean, there's Israel, there's Shalim, there's Parchabat, there's a lot of other places, but that, what we gained here, is certainly something that stays with us the rest of our life. And the more, as life goes on, do we really appreciate what that meant, which we didn't at that time. Uh, Montreal was a base for many shluchim, 
I'm not the only, don't claim to be the only one, but I happen to be the closest one. I'm right across the border. We share the same road. We go down the 87, and I wanted to mention what Rabbi Kramer said about Aknosis Orchem, that this is uh, also the, the Rambam uh, before getting to Elchus Melochim, the last uh, uh, thing is about Elchus Abel, and, and, uh, and as part of Elchus Abel is also as Bikachoylim and Aknosis Orchem, and Skar Lokviya Gogol Me'akoyl. And I want to also say this, that I'm not there just when people are looking for a minion that they got stuck and they got in the plow and the snow. There's all kinds of things that people call us all the time. But simply, this connects us with Montreal. And there's no other uh, highway like this one, like this 87, I don't think, that has such a from a crowd of traffic of people going back and forth, Halak Vashev, Shiyaris Mitsuya, it's like this highway, Mashid, because there's a lot of Mishbos in Montreal. There are a lot of them are married and connected to Mishbos in New York. So therefore, it's Loyim Olet that people are coming back and forth. Yet, just yesterday, uh, we get from Alakrais, from everybody, it's, 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 from all the citizens, from the, the Litvish and the Mishnah, everybody stops off by us. Uh, yes, just yesterday, a Sankar Yid told me his son, he was fighting with his son, his son went to the dominant Monroe, but he said we have to go and, and get a little taste of what Albany is. Now really, Albany has very, very little to offer. But I would like to say, an expression of thanks, that when people come, so whether you're marshaling the minion, or Baruch Hashem, now we have a strong minion of our own, it's Panam Chadoshes, there's always new faces coming in, and I get risen from my father, almost like once a week, this person remembers what my father said here, what my father says there, and I'm talking about Kakot and Gagodl, as the Rambam says, that it's Pashat Anachas Ruach, it's, it's, a, it's a great pleasure for us to welcome you, so whenever you're in the area, you're passing by, don't think just the passing by, I was once thinking, it says, Avlechach of Aderech, and the derech, the, the, the letters of derech, dalad, reish, chof, all are the same formation. You know, there's a lot of tires that are said about the different siurim of the aleph, the same shape. Uh, a chof is like <coughs> this, vertical and horizontal, and a reish is also like this, a little smaller and a dal. And if you want to think, derech means a road, so a road is one way, two ways to go, east, west, or north, south. So the Chof, the Reish is, let's say, local, where you have, you're going this way, that way. And the line the Chof is like you're going on a highway, you're going from Montreal to New York, east, west, and then you're going south. But what does the Dalit accomplish? The Dalit is the same thing. The Dalit is where you get off to Albany. That little, that little, that's the ramp where you get off. And that also, should be part of the derech. So I want to thank everybody again for making these stops. And as the Rambam says, Karlavia, Godumah calls. Karlavia means not only the Chilish Sea, you don't need all food, you don't need all dinner, but the very fact that Meretz of Tzazamin, and I, it happens to be the Baruch Hashem we now have in the Sifta, and the Sifta isn't as big as Montreal, but it's the Sifta, and we learn every day, we learn the the Shabbos. And we have had so many guests, Rosh Yeshivas, who have come in and spoken to the children, to the students, and, tell, and telling them a word from this blood and a word from that blood. We have from Mikola Sugan, Mikola Kreisen, it's Pashit. Uh, we are thankful that we, even though I'm far away from uh, Montreal, we're still connected. And I'd also like to mention that even though I'm the most visible place that's there, there are Kanahara, 25 Chabad houses from the border till, till Rockland County. And we just recently established, are establishing a Shliach and a Chabad, a Shliach, his name is Avram Rimler, and he's going to be in Plattsburgh right across here. So, Amir Sashem. Uh, I'd like to see you more often.
Years ago, the, the State Department in Washington had, was dealing with some people in Saudi Arabia, even though we don't have special connections, but they were, they had a, a, a mishlachas of educators from Saudi Arabia, and they chose us, Vyeshleimar, that I can't say it's official, but it's because of Maimonides, because the, the Arabs have also a, a, a shakas that the Rambam wrote in Arabic, and we had six uh, professors from Saudi Arabia, who Washington didn't speak English, and they came with two interpreters, and they came to the school and went to each class, and then we spoke. But they wanted to know a lot of details how we're able to uh, combine the secular and the Hebrew, and the, the Hebrew and the, the, the religious part. And uh, I showed them, I, I especially prepared, um, there's an the, the Rambam wrote in Arabic, and they were able to see it was a shtar chalitza, and they didn't know what chalitza was, but they told me that it means shtar, it's a special document. We are now, the main focus is the Sima Rambam, the Lima the Rambam, and this question was raised a little by the speakers before, Rabbi Kramer, Rabbi Bell, about the, what you will get from learning Rambam. And that is a good question, that especially now at this critical time when we're changing over from Matzah Lama Beis to Matzah Lama Gimel, that what is so special about the Rambam that he was zayfet to this takonis of the Rebbe that everybody should learn this every day. It's not that the Rambam was the only Rishon. Manishtan or Rishon as any color Rishonim. There was Rashi Navali Atoisvis, and there was the Meiri, and there was so many great Rishonim. The Rashbor of three thousand Shuvis. And why do we focus so much only on the Rambam? Lamp was said also about the fact that the Rambam is halakhas. And the fact is that the Rambam we do not accept necessarily always la halakha. There are many times when certainly, and I remember I was Yitzvat, I remember when, this was in, when Rebbe was in the hall in Yitzvat, in, in, in Yitzvat from Rangin, and Rebbe brought down Ubnei Yisrael from this coming center, Ubnei Yisrael, Yoytzin Biyad Rama, Biyad Rama. But the fact is, and many halachas practically, I mean, there's interesting things that the Alter Rebbe says you should be machmila, bal nefesh, like the Rambam. But basically, the halacha is not necessarily, you can't pass them from the Rambam, because uh, certainly from Ne Ashkenazim, that we can't be. So the question is, and what about Shulchan Aruch? Pasha learning in Ramah, Shulchan Aruch, Mes Yosef, Ramah, learning things as a master, Sheyasen, and what do we get? We get stuck, and it's a very big struggle. I'm, Talking and I said, Nafshe, let's think about it. It's nice, we finished everybody collectively, but what is this that accomplishes? You get stuck in the Saras, and there's it seems that you have no idea what, what the Ramam is talking about, you have no background from the Gemara. And even when you have background, you need a lot of depth to understand what the Rambam is saying, uh, the, what the Ragat says, and the Chaim says, and the Sameah says, there's so many beautiful Diyukim, if you understand fully the Gemara, then maybe you can really be massive what the Rambam is saying. But to say it like this, the Rebbe used that Lashen, Rishitri is, what do you gain from that? And it's Pashit, you, you, you can even get frustrated and say, like, <laughs> what the Rambam is talking, Kach and Taris, Karbonis, and Gansen, and today, what, what does it do for me? So, um, I would like to answer this question. Uh, it's been answered, uh, Rabbi Bell spoke about it at the Union of Kolos Kolotera Kula. I'd like to just share with you a little bit a, 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 a thing that will, will remind you this from our Berchus Sashaka that we say every morning. Every morning we say Berchus HaShachar, and uh, there's uh, Berchus HaTorah at the end of that, and Elud Vorim, and Berchus Kainim. And really, I, I just want to tell you that I remember as a young boy, and every, a lot of people saw my father davening, uh, with Aminion, on Aminion, Nach Aminion, and uh, it was a whole ASIC. 
But I remember being a child laying in bed on Clark Street. You don't even know what Clark Street here is. It's, it's behind Park near St. Lawrence. And, and my father used to get up, and the shop me usually get up very early. And like at 5, 6 o'clock, I'm still laying in bed, and my father is standing in St. Bert's Shachar with his slavas, with that vacas. It was an unbelievable thing that I, you, I had him all to myself, and I could hear each and every word, and he wasn't saying it for every, for just for, for the English there. He was just saying it himself in his, uh, wherever he was standing. I didn't even see because I was hearing it from the bedroom. It was such a, a, a chayas and such a vacas that's, it's just like he was saying Krishna, or just like the son of I mean, it was a very heavy thing that the, my father was saying in the left. And everybody knows I am not um, and uh, there's jokes about this, about my father's Asher Yotzar, my whole davening. It, it, it's, it's uh, you do them for some, I don't pretend to be there. But I do want to say that it left, as the Fabregans and Reparates, uh, I can even, you know, last week is Parshas Boy, so we said to Laman, Revois Moifsa Beretz Mitzrayim is Revois Moifsa Beretz Mitzrayim is Rashatei Bisramba. So also, uh, Reb Moishe Beer Montreal, or Mashpi Beer Montreal, I remember these things very vividly, even though I'm not Oisik and Abed the Sadfila. And I want to share with you something about Rikas Ashachar Eilud Varim. And Eilud Varim, this is up to the Elud Varim Alugut Tzach, the Kher Sembal Mazeva, Kher Kema Salam Bos, and Gishmak Tzach, and no one is so malayv the problems and contradictions that are found in Elud Varim, and that is, first of all, there is no such mission as the way it's that way it is. This mission is in Peya, the beginning of Peya. That's how it starts off. Yeshlam Shir, Elam Shir, and then it goes on. In the mission of pay, there's no Achmasasarchim, no Bikachal, no Achmasasarchim, no Avaisamis. None of that exists there. And this mission is like taken, got it out, and put inserted into it a Gemara in Shabbos in Kufchov Zayin. That's not a Bryce, even it's by Rabbi Hudam, Rabbi Shilom, Rabbi Asim, Rabbi Yechon. And he is the one who said she should burn, but did not say the Talmud Torah connected Kulam. So this Mishnah is a hybrid. It's like put together, patched together from various sources. And you should know that no one has problems with this Mishnah. Just saying good to Zachman. But there are a lot of problems. Where did all these things come? Some things are left in, some things are left out. So you should know that the Rebbe Zayde and the Shara Koil is Mitzayim to a Sefer Nefesh Seder Ayoyim. And there he goes in the big dialects to explain why these things were chosen or not. And Moshe Feinstein in his Sefer Dibras Moshe, Dibras Moshe on Kedushin, also brings this down and says that he leaves it all with Sarachian. What, how, how can this be? The Pashtas, besides all the different, ans the different problems, why these things were chosen or not those, it turns out that there, I couldn't find I couldn't find Mamisha Sefer that should explain exactly why these things are there, not other things. But there, the fact that it starts with Achmasus Archim is a big problem because the Gemara in that Shabbos says, Gedoyla Achmasus Archim, Yoisim Kabbalas Meyashchina, and more than Ashkamas Beis Amedrich. So how could Achmasus Archim here be ended off with Talmud Torah Keneged Kulam? <laughs> the Gemara there says that the Tachmutar is equal to Tachmutar, and Rav Dimi Medardoa says it's even bigger than, uh, than Ashkamas Beis Medrash. And here, and then you have another problem Ashkamas Beis Medrash, what does that mean? What does it mean? It means to learn. It says Beis Medrash. So, what's the difference from Ashkamas Beis Medrash to. to to Talmud Torah connected Kulam, so the Chastir. Now that we patch together this 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 mission and this and this thing, so I have to tell you that uh, the only places where I can find uh, that they raise this question is in the Yankiv. 
And then Yankif, they say, if someone says, that Ashkamas Beis HaMedrash is if you learn Torah Latzma, you learn Biyotin. And Talmud Torah Kineget Kulam is if you learn Birab. The Pashtas, Beis HaMedrash, made a yeshiva, whom is that nish, mikum tzolanim bebetzibur, Birabim. On Talmud Torah, it comes on Biyotin. And I want to tell you something more, that why was this Elud Varim put into this Siddur, well, 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 this felt I still with Varma. I mean, it's nice that we, and I, I was just reminiscing with uh, Chazan Leibovich, it's a Leibovich when we went to school, he was in the same class. Uh, he was a big Chazan then, because his voice was just changing and he made a record, and he made a record of Elud Varim. And uh, Chazanim love it and the Mazink the Sois, but halachically, Pashit, it doesn't seem to add up. And um, so that's one parish. Another parish is, and this this thing, the Lukut uh, Mariach, he's a, a, a safer on the Siddur, and he says that that's why it's wrong to say Ashkamas based on Medrash, and you have to say Ashkamas based on Knesses. And that's why Ashkamba makes more sense because yeah, I mean, it should be from the Asari Shemba. In the Asari, the word Ashkamba. Okay? And that, so he says that there's old Svarish, uh, 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 and that's Seder Yem, that the Rebbe is, is trying to, do, does have Ashkamas Beis HaKnesses. But in our Siddur and most Siddurim, it says Ashkamas Beis HaMedrish. It says, Pashit Astir Minei Bey. What do you do about that? Then I saw another page. I was looking, looking on this, and Mamish, no one, Shtel Tzachop, Afakot Tzachashet. Pashit, it doesn't, the goal, it doesn't have to And, he says that Ashkamas Beis Hamedrash meant the Shamish was kum far alaben on her effort of the show. Okay, so this is a a sacha. It's a very but look. I'm, I won't be marak on this because he could be marak on this, but it's a very big problem. The Pashtus, the difference from Ashkamas Beis Hamedrash, Shachris va'arvis. And Talmud Torah is this Nakode why the Rambam is so important? Because Ashkamas Beis Hamedrash Shachris Ba'Arvis is Perik Echad Shachris or Perik Echad Arvis that the Yoytzer was Kviyas Sid in the Torah just by the minimum, and that's what the Mishnah said before. Eilud Varm Shein Lamshi, you can be Yoytzer Talmud Torah even with a uh, with one word, one word uh, in the morning and Shachris and then one about Arvis. So that. Ashkamas Beis Hamidrash, Shachas Arvis is the minimum of Talmud Torah. And Talmud Torah, Keneged Kulam, means the Indian of learning Kola Torah Kulam. And that is the English Shir Lamaila that the Alter Rebbe wants so hard about Misha Daita Yechayla, Misha Daita Rechava, that he's able to do that, to accomplish that. And uh, there's a lot to more talk about it, but there found the word Limud. And Talmud are two in Yonim. Limud is a verb, and Talmud is a noun. And Limud means the verb, the learning, the act of learning, and Havakvisitim, Gizot, and Gigangin. And Talmud Torah is when it all accumulates and you're able to remember it all, and everything that the Alter Rebbe says, and this can be proven in a lot of places, Asher Misha Bolakam, the Talmud of Yodai, main, Atsugi Great Zachas. So the Rambam, the Rebbe's Takon of the Rambam is actually combines both of these things. It makes a kvius itin, because you have to have parent, and he didn't just say finish it up by the year. He said, Shloisha Prokmayoim or Perigafabayam. That is the Indian of Kvius Itim Latoira. And that is a very solid thing in the Rambam. And then you also go to from that, by accomplishing it and accumulating it, as Robert Bell said, there's also a way of retaining it, and retaining is very important. That is the Nikud of Talmud Torah, Kineged Kulam, that it is the highest level of Talmud Torah where everything accumulates. I want to give you some, it's always Talmudim, I'm lagging him, so the Gemara says about them, Boy Baracha, the Mos and Boy so first of all, I want to tell you, going back to Asher, and people don't know at, at the Seilut Varim how important it is. The reason we say Seilut Varim is to be Yaitzit Talmud Torah on the spot, because 
There's a big machlekes in Rishonim. If you have a hefsek from Bichas Atayra, which was just said before, and you pick it up later on when you learn if it's yitz or not, there's a machlekes in Taisus and the Mordechai and the Rosh and the Tzemenik Atzerfasim, and that is we say Elud Varim and Bichas this to be yitz all different chalakim of Talmud Torah. That's why it was patched and hybrided together from from a little Mishnah and a little Bryce and a little, and a little uh, of this uh, thing, that all forms of Torah should, the Talmud Torah, the Berchus Torah should be Chalanda. So if you don't make a shadow out of it, your Pasha not gets the Talmud Torah. You're not getting the Berchus Torah. And Berchus Torah is the Raisa. First of all, speaking about Berchus Shachar, there's 18 Berchus Shachar connected to Shemineser. And that means that there's full, this is a big stuff. I remember I used to learn uh, I'm remembering Berchus Shachar by David Katz on Park Avenue. I learned it earlier. We used to sing it together in in with Zalmashur, in Karen Yisrael on St. Dominic. You know what St. Dominic is? Nobody here knows. Nobody here knows. Okay. Well, that's where we learned. That's where we learned, and that's where we all used to sing. And then, when you get older, Berchus Hashachar is baby stuff. It's no longer you, you can you do it at home, you do it yourself. It's not so much negel, but the fact is that it's the only besides benching. It's the only bracha that's in the Torah is Berchus Hashachar. I'm sorry, the Rambam holds. It's not. It's midrabanan, but most poskim hold that it is in the Torah. The main thing is that in Berchus Hashachar in Asher Yotzar. It says, "In Yisosim Echemem and Yiposeach Echemem, I Echshel Leskaim Afil Ushow Echos." So take the body. The body has a hand, and the body has a cup, and the body has a boy, and the body has a what we're going to have is feet and all different departments. But if there's no circulation, everybody knows how to show me can lead to stroke. Because if the blood clots and it doesn't move around, and even if a body uh, one thing isn't functioning to 100%, uh, it's an Avram Dul, maybe you don't understand that, those halakim in, in Rambam. This is the circulation that circulates through all of the person's body, and that is the circulation that the Rambam circulates through the whole thing. If you want, I can give you more Mishalom about this. In, in Near us, there's big companies of the biggest technological companies that are investing billions of dollars in integrated circuitry. And integrated circuitry, the this means that it once they was a whole thing that they have a switch and then there's such such a button and such a button, one for on, one for off, and two departments. And the main thing is when you're able to combine them all together, that is the newest things in technology that allows iPhones and all these small computerized things because of integrated circuitry. So these are things that we see by Maze. The main thing is this. See, Marambam is a simcha, as Rabbi Kappel mentioned, and we're going to this parsha, Oz Yashir Maisha, Sharla Nemer al Oz Yashir. We should say the, the, it's very hard, it can be challenging to always say the three problems of the simcha, but Oz Yashir, this is an inspiration, this is something that keeps us going and makes strikes the tongue that we should be able to reach the level of Kamayim Layom Nechazim. sharing the memories and sharing, uh, inspiring us to learn the Rambam and continue learning the Rambam. By the way, there's a way to share on all the chairs. Please take one so everybody will know which broken you have to learn when. This is the health and this is the end of the 7th of the Matthew, the Lenin.